Now, I don't think I would have known England if it wasn't for Stanley. I don't think so. And I don't think he, he really realized what he had done. <laughs> but the thing is, again, because people stuck to their own when they came to Britain, because nobody wanted to accept you, then they just sort of made their own little community and went with one another. So I, I think that was what kept everybody going. They made their own clubs, they went out to their own parties, they went out together for the evening out, they drank together, they visit one another together, and it was that sort of togetherness which kept people going. Not, nothing else. <laughs> Um, fish and chips, you wonder what's fish and chips. You know about fish, but you know, didn't know about fish and chips. And you see, there was once out there in the market where um, these people coming out with a newspaper and taking out this thing and eating it on the street and the hot steam coming out. And we thought, eating out a newspaper, because in our country that would be unheard of. So you tried it yourself and found out that it wasn't too bad after all, but that was a once a year thing for us. We still like to cook our own thing that we knew. And there was a Jewish man who used to sell green bananas. I tried to remember his name the other day. It was a little Jewish man around Coburn Road. He had a little shop with West Indian tropical stuff. And we used to go there and get sweet potato, yam, okra, green gunga peas, true, and green bananas. Or oh, old Edwards, we used to call him. Old Edwards, I remember now. He used to wear his little cap and his little soft shoes. He used to shuffle along. And we used to go there and get our West Indian supply until you gradually worked your way into other things that people eat. You still cook your rice and peas. And that was the Sunday speciality. If you didn't have rice and peas on a Sunday, you didn't have a proper dinner. <laughs> the market was crowded on, did I? Yeah, on a Saturday especially. There were the Jewish people who sold well-made. Oh, everything was well-made, good quality, first rate. You didn't, you only heard about the West End, but you didn't have to go up to Oxford Street to get a lovely dress for the best wedding or party. You didn't have to go there to buy a nice, well-made pair of shoes or anything or a beautiful skirt. Roman Road was the place. True. Ladies would come down from any part of England. You heard them talking where they came from, just to come to Roman Road to do their purchases. You used to have some very attractive ladies. I don't know if it was the false eyelashes which made them so attractive. Slim, well-trimmed, high heel shoes and the fur coats. Very nice, attractive ladies used to come from far over England to come to Roman Road to do the purchases. You didn't have to go anywhere else to buy anything on a Saturday. And the men would be crying out, come on girls, you can't be looking. And that's how they attracted you to come and see what they were selling. And when the market was closed, they didn't bother to gather up the food that was on the floor. Oranges, bananas, there was so much. Ripe bananas, they just piled it on like that, and everything was cheap. And anybody who wanted could go to the Roman and get a week shopping of food off the floor. You could buy a pound of bacon for a shilling. <laughs> everything was so cheap. There were about six butcher shops in the Roman road market. You had a choice which one you wanted to go to. Everything was plentiful to eat and very cheap, according to what people earned in those days. It went a long way. And that's where the difference comes in. 
But as, as time went on, you noticed the community changed. The occupants changed. Everything changed and is changing. You had the houses first, we started to change. They wanted to demolish all the houses along all the streets from this side around to Grove Road. But it was stopped because the community united. There was a meeting in Chisholm Hale School Hall where all the people from around here gathered to meet the councillors to oppose the plan. And that is why you still have these terraced houses around here, or else they would all be high-rise blocks of flats. Then you had all the English people disappearing slowly but surely, gradually moving away, and you wonder where they went to. Some had died as they got older, but many had moved away and taken over by people from other countries. It's quite good living around here. You feel quite safe living around here as well. And the people are quite friendly in your area. So I've never wanted to move.